Who are they? What do they want? Where did they go? When are they coming back? Why do they care at all? How will we survive? To what extent are these questions moot? Just adverbs or real adversaries? The answers lie. With early aliens. One of the things that the government really doesn't want you to, to understand is all of these ali aliens that they have here are actually, if you look closely here, and I'm talking, I'm talking really closely here, there, it's the same one. It's, it's the same, it's the same gray. Okay, so let me tell you exactly how this works. So he has come from our past over here and he's constantly reborn. Now, if you look at the evidence in ancient Egypt and uh, Hatahuyak and all of these, all of these great civilizations, they have basically the same type of alien here. And how he is surviving, almost surviving, is that he is being reincarnated each time. Now, if you notice there, on each of those aliens that they find, the gray one or the slightly smaller one or the larger one with the longer kind of like praying mantis-like tentacles, is that they still have the kind of all blackening of the eyes and the face and that kind of a thing. And here's the reason the bodies are changing is because his technology, his resources are decreasing. And this is why he has actually paired up with the United States government. They have paired up with the United States government. And during the moon landing, if you look at the moon landing, if you look at the footage, very clearly you can see parts of where the alien was hiding out when they made contact, Neil Armstrong and, and uh, Buzz Aldrin, they made contact with the alien. And what they did from there is they made an, uh, they made, uh, an arrangement in where we would provide the alien with the appropriate technology so he could continue to reincarnate himself uh, appropriately. And that's why his bodies have been changing because all of the materials that we've been giving him haven't really been the perfect combination alien Pseudo combo, if you will, uh, so so that he could uh, so he could regrow to his uh, or reincarnate to his normal self. If you look back at the ancient Mayan texts, what one of the things that they were famous for, along with calendaring and the square root of two, of course, is and this is a not not a very very well well known fact is is along with the ancient Egyptians, and of course they were connected with this single alien being constantly reincarnating themselves is that they loved cats. And the reason that they loved cats so much is because that the alien species themselves had also pets that were similar in form and mannerisms to our current cats. Hence the saying, cats have nine lives. It's because it comes from this reincarnated animal that this one sentient alien being has continued to reincarnate over and over again. That technology was given to the Mayans, so it's actually just one alien. So tell me, uh -huh. what did you think of early aliens? Um, I'm a big fan of the show, so uh, I'll say that right, but I think it's hilarious. I think it's, it's totally hilarious. I'm sorry, can you go back on that again? Why, why would you use the adjective hilarious to describe the show? Well, I mean, the, the idea that there's, I mean, it's really funny that there's one alien is, is pretty hysterical, I mean, you must admit, right? Um, I mean, the show's not serious, right? Right? I figured it was just created that way to, for ratings. <laughs> I didn't actually think anyone took it that seriously. But yeah, one alien is, is really hysterical. And so do you, um, do you, what were some of the pieces of the show that you really liked? Uh, I like the confidence of the delivery. Um, you know, he's kind of cute. Oh, you have a cat in the studio. So obviously the one alien is pretty funny because there's really no reason to think of aliens as a threat in that sense. If there's there's only one, I mean, why are you worried about the greys if there's only one grey? And obviously why would anybody, why would anybody say don't trust the greys if they're in fact just one grey? 
Um, oh yeah, that's right. You guys don't say don't trust the Greys. Why can't you trust the Greys? Frankly, they're always trying to instigate a prison break. Who, 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 wait, 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 stop. What do you mean prison? That wasn't on our show. No, it wasn't. Okay, so here's the dealio. All right. Uh, Earth is a prison. All right, stay with me for a second. Earth is a prison. What's the best way to explain this? Because that clearly caught you a little off guard. All right, so... Well, are we all prisoners? Yes, actually, yes. We are all prisoners. So every Earth humanoid is a prisoner. So this idea, you know, all of the humanoid cultures of Earth make up this whole soul story. Pretty much all of them. They have this soul story, right? So that your body and your soul, they're actually separate sort of things. I mean, it's not far from the truth. Well, it is far from the truth, but it's, it's not based in complete falsehood. You're actually a being of subatomic particles. Like, that's your actual being. That's who we are. But you're being held in a prison, Earth, and you're being shackled by the heavier elements that make up, I guess what sci-fi calls your meat suit. The idea is that you'd serve your sentence here and that hopefully you would redeem yourself and then you don't have to be in prison anymore. The problem is that, well, time isn't really linear, but the problem is you all, the majority, never ever redeem themselves, so it's just a prison and we just keep trying to, and I'm not actually saying we in the sense that I'm like superior because I'm really just like one of the guards and we're not really that much better. We're kind of assholes like the rest of you. So, but anyway, we don't redeem ourselves. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Are you saying that you're a guardian? I'm not a guardian. I'm a guard, like a prison guard, just like a like like a prison guard. Just like on Earth, a lot of prison guards and dicks. We kind of suck too. That's why we're here. You don't really come here unless you're a researcher or you're a tourist. Sometimes they come here just to try on a meat suit and see what it's like. But the vast majority of people here, which basically at this point means seven billion Earth humanoids, are prisoners here because they're kind of awful. It's self-centeredness. Hard to explain the physics of it to you, the sense of subatomic self-centeredness. But it manifests in the meat suit as addictions to endorphins really is the bottom line so you're saying everyone on earth is basically in some type of lesser they were another <sighs> life form i i form how does that even make any sense no you're not really transformed just like if if in your earth humanoid experience right <laughs> this sounds crazy I, I know it sounds crazy uh, but I'm going to just tell you it to you anyway. And if you let me tell you, it might make sense to you. Maybe. So, um, it's like the prisons here in a different scale. How about, so for example, you know what handcuffs are, right? You know what they are. And in old timey days, you probably have seen this at the Exploratorium, that big case that closes, that was used to try to treat mental health patients didn't work but it closed you in that so that's like your shackles right those are like those are your shackles thus your meat suit that's your shackle the prison is earth that's the best metaphor i can come up with so based on what you got from our show you're basically telling us you not only number one disagree with the one alien theory but you're also saying we are all trapped here on Earth in humanoid bodies because we suck. But you suck less than us. Because you're criminals. I don't actually know if I suck less because... Okay. So there have been a number, as I said, time's not really linear, so you're, the past, future, whatever. Anyway, there have been different efforts to try to rehabilitate. I mean, that's the real goal, right? Is to rehabilitate us so that we can go back into the fold, as they might say. That's the idea, is that we get rehabilitated. The problem is we've never been rehabilitated. And so they've tried different ways. So one is everybody's here at once. Everybody knows that they're actually from somewhere else. Everyone's aware that the meat suit is a shackle. Everyone is, you know, aware that Earth is a prison. That did not work. People went crazy. Didn't work. Like the Matrix. Matrix is fine. Yes, in that sense, where it's like now we have to fool you into thinking that this is actually an experience 
that's not connected to something else, right? Yes, in that sense. So we're in a matrix prison. You're not really in a matrix prison. It's just the idea that hopefully you don't really remember where you're from because that doesn't seem to lead to successful rehabilitation. But frankly, every single time this is set up, you all, we all, I like to say you all because it makes me feel like I'm not stuck here too, but I am. Um, we all just destroy ourselves all over again, right? We blow things up, we destroy the earth. You know, Mars was one of our best prisons and we fucked that place up. So now we're here and fucking this place up too. But the problem is we can't ever seem to rehabilitate ourselves. So we get here, we get slowly introduced in this timeline. We get slowly introduced, right? So we didn't start out at 7 billion. Now we're 7 billion, but we didn't. Slow introduction to try to help us to see that there are enough resources, that there's enough for everyone. There still is. We don't seem to ever be able to coordinate that because we're addicted to, because we're self-centered, we're addicted to endorphins that are released from our meat suits, from the heavier elements in the way that they're put together, right? So now we're addicted to endorphins because we're basically drug addicts. So whether that means cocaine or crack or pot or booze or sex or uh, fancy cars or big houses or just more money or more power or islands or jet flights or we just can't seem to ever stop this lusting after more things, but we never seem to actually be able to figure that out. If you study the physics and you all know enough about the physics, you'll actually see that it does, it's consistent and makes sense. There's nothing about it that actually is false, can be proven false. Uh, but as far as the alien business in your show, I think my problem with your show is that you focus on the grays. And the grays, like I said, are no good. There's certainly more than one of them. I mean, that's, that's pretty silly. There's certainly more than one of them. They're not to be trusted. They're always trying to instigate a prison break because they think that would be really hysterical. Uh, and you never deal with aliens on a subatomic level. Like you never actually figure out that there are life forms that don't necessarily collect the heavier elements in the norm. But anyway, that really doesn't matter. It's not really, your show is just hysterical. I, I, I thought you knew that. Look, here's the thing. We don't actually think anything's gonna change by telling you because nothing has ever changed. There are all these different strategies. So I am authorized to tell the truth about it and say whatever I wanna say about it because at this point in history, in this timeline, uh, earth humanoids won't believe it, won't change their behavior, won't do anything. We'll continue to be the addicts that they are and spin out of control and make this place uninhabitable and that'll be the end of it. And we'll have to redevelop another prison, put everybody back, see if anything happens this next time around, if we can rehabilitate it all. But we don't actually think you'll believe one word, which is why I'm allowed to tell you. Think about it. Think of how good good is in even your concept of what good is. Now, how close are you to that? Not at all. Think about your vices. You're not anywhere near that. So think about it in terms of a being that's actually encompassing every bit of that good. You're nowhere close. You're a criminal. There's one alien.